on guys? Uh, I want to do a video real quick um, for Damien. Uh, Damien had sent me this letter and he wanted a letter back, but I figured it'd be better even to just do a video talking about it in case someone out there has a similar, um, you know, question about this stuff. Basically, I'm going to read to you here. So, hey Jeff, uh, as you can see by the bad uh, tracing of my hands, I only have seven fingers. I was wondering if you could help me out. I'm having trouble finding a good left-handed knife. I like the Tanto style blade and the axis lock, but not a big fan of lockbacks. Um, can you help me out? Just send me a letter with your suggestions. I'm a big fan of your videos. Also, can you do a review on the mini iPad? All right, guys, I want to show you this, but I'm covering his name because I don't want to give his full name out here. But here's how his uh, hands are. So right hands is on top and left hands on the bottom. So I was looking at this and I was trying to figure out what might be a good uh, solution for Damien. And there's a couple things. I'm sitting here with Christina. She's still cleaning that knife. <laughs> Not since the last video I mentioned it, but she just happened oh, to clean it. Oh, it looks a lot better though. Oh, right, here. I'll give it a little, little shot here. Not as dirty. Old uh, Camp King. Very cool. I put an edge on her. On her. Yeah, she's got a great edge now. <laughs> An edge on the uh, blade. There's a big nick in the middle. This has nothing to do with anything, but it works for yeah, it's, it's sharp enough yeah. now. But she cleaned up the uh, handle scales. But anyway, I don't know why am I showing that. Here we go. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Um, all right. So, Damien, I was thinking about different options. I think probably one of the best options would be a Benchmade 553, which is the full size Tanto Griptilian, and the 557, I believe, is the mini Griptilian with the Tanto blade. I think a Griptilian might suit you best because, I mean, you like the Tanto, so they do have that option. But any axis lock knife, I think, will do you good. Um, because you have four fingers on your left hand, uh, they'll probably be, you know, I, I would assume you're looking for a left-handed knife. What's nice about the axis locks, which you've probably seen, is that uh, you very easily open them and close them uh, by just pushing down on the axis lock itself. Okay, so I'm try I've been playing around with this, trying to figure out because I don't ever use my left hand, ever. I mean, I'm so used to using knives on my right hand that when I put something in my left hand, it feels very awkward and foreign to me. But I was trying to open this, I mean, even just pretending uh, to only use two or three fingers on this hand to see how, how I can do it. And with me, I mean, just trying this with um, three fingers using my thumb, my pointer finger, and my middle finger, I was able to, you know, rest it up against my palm to easily disengage that blade, okay? And then, of course, in opening it, same thing, brace it, with these two fingers and open it with my left hand. So I think an axis lock in general will probably do you really good. Um, maybe the 553, because it's full size, it's bigger, it will give you more of an option, um, you know, in, in how you're positioning it in your hand. Because it's literally bigger, it might be easier to brace it and hold it and manipulate it. So you might want to look into that specific one. Uh, something else is I was playing around with the idea of suggesting a, a wave knife to you because obviously, you know, waving it out of the pocket, it's one hand operation. You only need, um, you know, basically only need two fingers to pull it out to wave it open. And then once it's open, I know you said you wanted to shy away from lockbacks, but something to keep in mind too is uh, most Spydercos, they have a large Ricasso on the blade. There's this section right here so that you can depress the lockback with one hand and literally just drop the blade down and it's not going to cut you because of that large Ricasso, it never, you know, the edge never hits your finger. And a lot of people will do this with Spydercos, it doesn't matter what hand you're using, they'll depress that lock back and just kind of kick it down like that, and your fingers stop the blade, but it never comes in contact with that edge. All right, so it might be an option for you. I know you don't like lock backs, but, you know, it's technique you may want to try. With Spydercos, obviously there's other knives that will do this, but for the most part, Spydercos are going to be the best for this. You don't have to worry about that edge touching your finger, so you're not going to cut yourself. So you can depress that with the thumb, drop the blade down, and then, you know, maneuver it so that you could close it without cutting yourself. But it may be tricky. I mean, it's something worth thinking about. Um, something else that I wanted to mention is um, because of your handicap, you may be eligible to have an automatic knife. And I was talking about this with uh, Christina, but I don't know if you guys know, just as general information, if you only have one hand or a, a severe disability with your fingers or hands, um, you're allowed to have an automatic knife in all 50 states. Now, I don't know the specific procedure you have to go through to maybe get a piece of paper saying that or not. Uh, it's worth, you know, contacting your your local, you know, not necessarily police department, maybe sheriff's office, something of that nature, or even talking to a lawyer about it. But uh, I know people who only have one hand, you know, or like I said, severe disabilities in a hand. Um, 
that's when you're allowed to legally have automatic knives. Now, this, of course, same thing with butterfly knives or battle songs. Uh, you have regular laws, but laws don't apply to uh, people with different handicaps. All right, so it's definitely worth looking into. Um, I would definitely recommend that to you as well, is seeing if you could talk to, um, you know, someone at your local sheriff's office, or if you, maybe you're, you know, by chance your family knows a lawyer or something, you can talk to them about it. But uh, legally speaking, I think if you do have a disability with your hands, you can legally carry, um, in all 50 states, a uh, automatic knife. So that may be an option for you. With an automatic knife, obviously, you know, you'd be pushing a button to open your blade, it would completely open up and then you'd have to probably, in most cases, depending on the knife design, you'd depress that button and you can even use the side of your body uh, to close that blade in that, in that respect. You don't even need two hands to do that. But anyway, just some different options for you. I think, like I said though, your best bet would be some kind of access lock because you said you do like the access lock. Um, the bench maze are the cheaper ones as far as access, lock, access locks go. Uh, it's a mouthful. Um, the Griptilians tend to be on the cheaper side, although they're not cheap, you know. Um, so, I mean, I was, I was trying to think of some different ideas. Guys, if you have a suggestion, let me show you uh, the picture again. It covers information here. Uh, because if you guys happen to have a suggestion that may help him out, again, this is his left hand, and this is his right hand. So it might be easier... Um, it, I mean, it's definitely easier to use certain knives as opposed to others. Uh, you may want to look into a fixed blade. You know, you might be uh, happier in using a small fixed blade, you know, so it just depends. But I mean, I want to help you guys. I want to help Damien out and anyone else who maybe have a, you know, a similar situation or you know someone with a similar situation, you could recommend them, you know, a knife that's going to use, uh, be better for them so it's more comfortable to use. But off the top of my head, like I said, I mean, a Benchmade uh, 553 might be your best bet. So besides that, you know, do look into your, your laws and see if, uh, uh, because of this ability, you could uh, actually carry automatic knives legally, which would be pretty cool. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, any suggestions to Damien or anyone else, please post in the comments below. It is very much appreciated. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you soon.